Well, he, he, he wasn't the brightest spark on the planet, Sid. He was my friend, and, uh, and I miss him very much, I've got to tell you. But, and I felt really guilty about bringing him into the Pistols because he, he was ill-equipped mentally to deal with the pressures, and, uh, and he was prone to fall into the drug culture very quickly because his mother was a registered heroin addict and, you know, and there'd been situations before the pistols when I'd seen her give him a, a birthday present of a bag of, of heroin. I did not like this. And he, he always said, no, I'll never be like that. But from the first moment he joined the band, he became very much like that. The trouble with heroin as a drug, what it does is it it hides the inadequacies and self-doubts you have, and Sydney had a lot of them. But what he didn't understand was we all had them too, but we had already been at it for, you know, nearly a year here, and so we were better prepared, and uh, he just wouldn't listen. He just would not listen. He took that easy way out, and the result always with that is going to be a tragic death, a loss. The situation he got in became a, a very low-rent melodrama. Remind us of that situation. Remind us what happened around that Girlfriend time. Girlfriend stabbed. Mystery as to who did. Sid in jail. Uh, gets out, meets his mum and dies of an overdose. I mean, how strange. What a series of coincidences. How often did you and, see And him? all manner of intrigue, I've got to tell you, around that mm. time of people like saying, uh, oh, it was a, a drug gang murder and, and whatever it is. You know how people love to add a mystery to what, what is basic, like the common sense of this is he created the situation himself and he willingly walked into it and thought he could handle it. But really, secretly, deep down inside, I think he knew he couldn't. How often did you see him at that time? Very little. It was just maybe the odd phone call and um, and then there'd be a resentment from him because he, he didn't want to hear what I had to say. So almost from the moment you introduced him to the band, you, you saw that yeah. spiral happening oh, and that's why yeah. you describe yeah, it yeah, as a bit yeah. of guilt. All the hangers-on, you know, the cottage industry of liggers that you get being in a band, zoomed in on him and told him how wonderful he is and all of this and he, he just totally got sucked up into it. I'll tell you, fame is a... Is a it's a monster, a monster. And none of us were given any warning or help. You know, it's, it's, it's lucky that we survived ourselves.